All right. So this week I was doing that technique called shocking your muscles when lifting weights, where you have the weights more lighter, but then you do it for way more reps. So for since today is the last day I'm doing this for the week, and then next week I can go back to lifting heavy, I have the weight at 73 pounds, and I'm going to do about like three sets in two of them where it's like 30 or I might try the third set today for another 30 reps and this is a technique that like even bodybuilders do like so then they can keep moving up too in a way but I'm just doing this to help me keep getting stronger for my goals so like you guys know and I put the bar on that those boxes so that way I don't want to scratch this bar nothing on the ground necessarily but and for when it gets to be really heavy it'll be a little easier to pick up too almost I guess but I'm gonna try showing you guys an example how like I've been doing this during the week for shocking my muscles like my dad showed me all right, let's uh, set this camera up. Couldn't get that camera angle right. All right. All right, and I'm gonna take a quick break. And when I take a quick break in between each set, not just when I shock in the muscles week, but even when I'm moving up in weight to keep getting stronger, this is what I do before like I do the next set each time. Like these are what I call my <laughs> pre-workout uh, workout supplements, like some Greek yogurt, filtered water in a glass bottle, and like a cup or a glass of milk. So that's what I usually do because I'm trying to go all natural and I haven't find, found the best uh, protein powder. I was trying some out at first, but I still don't know which one is the best uh, powder to use necessarily. And I, I know creatine is probably a good choice because I know a lot of people that use it there and they used it for many years and they're still really good using this stuff, but I just still mostly want to just be all natural, like with stuff like this, for example, for until I find some really good stuff and not some crap that has sugar in it that you don't know about or some whatever. But and once I do this next set, I'm going to try getting that camera angle better so you guys can actually see that I'm doing the overhead. And I hope I was able to give you a good example.
There's one more, guys, and then I'm done for that. or if I really can another 30 and then that'll be good so next week I can go back to the heavy stuff I just thought this week would be a good mix up for a change Once you start to feel the burn kicking with lighter weights and uh, way more reps, trust me, that's going to really kick in. And that's when it's really going to start to work. So you'll have an easier time moving up in more weight because when you shock your muscles, your body isn't used to growing like that. So that's why you want to try to do that every so often, every now and then. And after working out, like when I start for a warm-up, my push-ups and then my main one, like weightlifting or how you guys know how I do that log press or log lift for overhead weightlifting now. And then to finish off, I do like these where they're like Kegels and then where it's like a sit-up type of crunch as a Kegel. To finish off and then I have a cup of tart cherry juice and not like the regular stuff and this is a glass bottle and this is one of the better kind for you and some other good ideas for like besides having if you like cherry juice to have a cup or glass of that after a workout another good idea is like to Go for like a walk for at least 15 minutes or if you can't necessarily go for a walk to walk around for 15 minutes it still is good enough so and like how since i have started doing that for a while like i might just walk up the steps like here and there in between and then just keep walking around like if i don't have time to go for a walk and so I just thought I'd give you guys that a little bit of advice that I've been doing for my uh, routine on all the days I work out during the week. So just because I want to make sure I can try to help people as best I can and give the best advice that'll be helpful for most people. So I hope that uh, helped you guys get a better understanding like what shocking your muscles is about and why it is a good idea to do it like every so often here and there like so that way like if you're usually lifting heavy weights then to make sure like you well like if you hit a stumbling block where you can't go no heavier or whatever then shocking your muscles is gonna help you move up another way and it isn't just for bodybuilders. I know there's power lifters will do that too to keep getting stronger more or less. And 
all that. But if I have any advice for people that are trying to get into strongman type of stuff, I'll try to do my research that'll help you guys with that too. But anyway, I hope you all have a good day and I will see you a little later if I have time. But I really got to finish this up and then get cleaned up. So I'll see you guys hopefully later. Hope y'all take care.